uh, when the Congress uh, approved the stimulus bill, uh, they also added uh, a incentive. Uh, basically, they required uh, that the states, as that $6 billion was delivered, use 20% of it uh, for uh, what we've termed green reserve projects or green infrastructure, water efficiency, energy efficiency, or other environmentally innovative projects. Uh, and in fact, the states did better than that. Nationally, the totals uh, approached 30% or some $1.6 billion of the recovery dollars were put into uh, those, those categories. Uh, what kind of things were funded? Uh, certainly, uh, efficiency uh, was an element uh, in both the drinking water and, and the clean water funds. Uh, and water utilities know uh, to be sure that uh, very high on their priority list in terms of saving uh, plant capacity, whether it's at the drinking water utility or the, the wastewater utility, is that a, a gallon that sort of is, is never needed uh, because of efficiency uh, is, is some of the cheapest capacity that they will ever, ever deal with. So water efficiency uh, were projects that were funded with the Recovery Act. Also leaks uh, from a water utility standpoint. Um, if they uh, secure the water, treat the water, and, and put the water into their delivery system and it never gets to the customer uh, because of pipe leaks, uh, that's, that's a water, a gallon of water uh, that is, uh, uh, have, has been wasted. So a fair uh, amount of that investment from the Recovery Act also went into uh, leak um, prevention, uh, leak uh, uh, correction, uh, and pipe replacement on the drinking water side. And so too on the clean water side. If you have extraneous water infiltration inflow, if you will, entering uh, sewage collection systems, uh, that only increases the cost uh, at the uh, wastewater treatment plant for the, the treatment of that additional hydraulic load. Um, energy efficiency, uh, more efficient pumps, more efficient motors uh, were the kind of projects that were funded uh, with the Recovery Act. Uh, in addition to, on the wastewater side, combined heat and power, basically energy generation based on the biosolids BTU value at wastewater treatment plants, an important part of the process. Um, also in uh, uh, parts of the country, like uh, where we're at right now, and building on uh, Mr. Freeman's comments, uh, reuse. Uh, many uh, states uh, use the, the recovery dollars to invest in reuse projects. Uh, it's the efficiency uh, of sort of connecting um, high quality treated wastewater to sort of secondary uses uh, is a growing trend. Uh, and uh, as uh, we look at it from an EPA standpoint, uh, in 2004, we released a guidance document uh, that dealt with uh, water reuse, uh, provided uh, guidance on planning, financing, uh, recommended minimum requirements, as well as a compilation of state regulations and codes. Most, most of the regulation uh, as you know, on the reuse side is currently done uh, by the states. Um, and uh, we're also uh, currently a uh, major um, uh, supporter, financial supporter of a uh, ongoing effort by the National Research Council of the National Academy of Science uh, to study um, water reuse uh, and desalination issues. Uh, we look forward uh, to the um, advice uh, by the National Academy uh, that's scheduled to be released in the fall of this year. And just next week, uh, we will be meeting uh, 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 in an EPA-sponsored uh, conference um, with other federal agencies, including the Centers for Disease Control, uh, with states, with academia, uh, to discuss uh, the use of uh, treated gray water uh, and environmental implications of that. So again, uh, funded with the Recovery Act, but also uh, continuing to explore the science and public policy issues uh, connected to reuse is very high on our priority list. Uh, not only was the, uh, the incentive, as I mentioned earlier, there as part of the Recovery Act, uh, but also as Congress passed the, um, uh, the fiscal 10 budget, the year we're in right now, they continued the 20 percent um, green reserve set aside. So states are again uh, looking at those categories of water, uh, green infrastructure, water efficiency, energy efficiency, uh, as an element of their capital improvement plans as they fund projects uh, for utilities uh, across the states. And uh, it's also a part of the uh, administration's budget request uh, for next fiscal year, 2011, where there has been another 4.4, uh, billion dollars in uh, a capital uh, assistance requested uh, as part of the federal budget process.
Let me turn now uh, to the water sense program, which is a program, as I look around the room, it's amazing to see the water sense signs uh, and, and sort of um, uh, uh, logos. Um, and it's an important part from an EPA standpoint of our sustainable infrastructure efforts uh, as we look at sort of how do we manage the inventory of water infrastructure across the United States on both the drinking water and the wastewater side. Um, the, the four elements, the four pillars we started with uh, were uh, better management, um, uh, pricing uh, that reflects the value of the service, making infrastructure decisions on a watershed basis, uh, and last but no, uh, by no means least, uh, water efficiency. And the agency's response to the water efficiency pillar has been the water sense program. Uh, in four short years, uh, uh, begun in uh, June of 06, next month is the four year anniversary of the water sense program, uh, we have increased the public awareness about water efficiency by creating a easily identifiable label uh, for water efficient products and practices uh, that is backed by strict criteria and independent certification. Um, it is not possible uh, to pick up, as I travel around the country, um, a Sunday paper with the inserts that are there uh, from sort of retailers, from catalogs that, that you, your, your companies, your, your affiliates manage. Uh, the water sense label is, is uh, uh, widespread now across the American landscape. Um, but it's very important that from where I sit, when I say, you know, we have delivered a program, uh, the we includes everyone in the room. Uh, that the uh, critical to the design of the water sense program from the outset, and I know many of you were there uh, in those early days, that it's the partners, it's the manufacturers, it's the retailers, it's the utilities, it's the local governments, it's the states, it's the uh, NGOs uh, that have been a part of the design of the water sense program from day one and continue to be an extremely important um, element of that program as we look forward. Without that participation, we would never be anywhere near where we're at today. Uh, in those years, uh, four years, the Water Sense program uh, has developed specifications for a full bathroom suite of products, if you will, high efficiency toilets, uh, faucets, and now shower heads. Uh, we have moved into the commercial uh, sector with a specification for flushing urinals. Uh, we issued in December of last year uh, a specification for new homes that includes not only the internal uh, products and fixtures I mentioned, but also how to manage the outdoor water use uh, in terms of landscaping, uh, use of turf, et cetera. Uh, very central to that is a water budget uh, calculator where a new home developer uh, can sort of calculate based on where they're at in the country, again, uh, based on uh, the comments of our keynote speaker, if you're in Southern California versus Kentucky versus New England, uh, the water budget, the plants that that will um, support is very different. Uh, and so uh, central to that uh, new home uh, specification uh, is the calculator. Uh, Stephanie Tanner on our staff is here and will go into the uh, new home spec in much more detail later on this agenda. Uh, we're also uh, working uh, to finalize <coughs> excuse me, our specification uh, for uh, our first irrigation product uh, uh, that will be um, weather-based controllers. Uh, again, in many parts of the country, 60, 70 plus percent uh, of the water used in res residential settings is used outside the home uh, and uh, uh, dealing with those irrigation products uh, is an important next step. 